Hi guys. I got the uh, Dragon Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. It's called a Volume 1 a Fantasy with five dragon egg shaped pans the size of your dreams. If y'all want to see what this does, how it does, and what we think about it, just stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so y'all need to be let known, especially my new subscribers, that on this channel, we talk about the product. The people that invented these products, yeah, not so much. Because we go and buy a lot of things on a daily base that we have no idea who owns that product or who invented it. So, it legit is about the product. So, Dragon Beauty Nikita Dragon... She's gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. Some of her views on topics I don't appreciate, so I do not follow them that much. But I seen this palette and I really had to have it. First, look at this packaging. Then we open it up, you guys. Look at these purples. Shimmer, shimmer, matte, matte, matte. So these are gonna be our base coats. Here's that purple that you all know I love. This is a light lavender, and this is a darker purple shimmer. I am so in love with these shades. I so have my fingers crossed that they perform very well. On the mirror, it says, who's the baddest of them all? Yeah, y'all are getting ready to see yourselves. Look at that. Who is the baddest of them all? <laughs> well... I know it's just a saying, but I don't consider myself bad or baddest or whatever y'all want to call it. I'm too literal of a person to talk like that. I think I'm a pretty darn good person. That's what I think. But that's cute. Who is the baddest of them all? What we're going to do, I actually got this in Boxy Pop-Up. Um, it was quite affordable. I'm trying to remember you guys. Um, I'll go on my account after this and I'll edit in and I'll put right there how much it was. I'm sorry, I don't remember. But anyways, I'll put right up there what the original cost is from Nikita Dragon's website. And then I'll put right down there what it was in Boxy Pop-Up. Which I'm very happy it was in Boxy Pop-Up because I've been wanting this and um, I just couldn't spend the money for five eye eyeshadow shades. And she's not my favorite, so <laughs> we'll leave that out. All right, guys, let's do some swatches. I have nothing on but my eyebrows. That is it. We're going to do some swatches. This one is called Transition. What's that say? La Draguna? La Draguna? Those two. Then we have... Oh, Lordy. Harajuka, Harajuka. I'm not sure, y'all. Huh. These shade names. Ooh, that's beautiful. We have Pop Star. All right, that's five. Let's swatch a swatch. We'll do them here. This is easiest. Transition. Yeah, it's a transition. La Draguna. Right there. Okay. And then we got the Harajuka. Har Harajuka. Harajuka. Not sure. Okay. Buildable shade. And then we have Pop Star. Okay, let me go and get these wiped off so I can get the last shade in here. What's it called? Rude Girl. Okay. It's actually really pretty. Here we go. In reverse. Um, I didn't think that one through, did I? There we go. We have Rude Girl, Pop Star. Harajuka, Harajuka, whatever. <laughs> La Draguna and Transition. Here they are. So they are not as dark as they showed in the palette. So, they, sorry, I'm getting a white out. They will be buildable shades, which is wonderful. I don't, sorry, all the noise. 
I don't like shades that once you're in it, you're in it for good. There is no going back and you gotta redo it all. So that is actually really good. I like that. Okay. Let's get some eye primer on and let's see how they perform on the eyeballs. Let's do this. Today we're gonna use, because I'm trying to pan it down, the All Day Stay Elf Eyeshadow Primer. Unfortunately, this is no longer available. Wouldn't be a video if Sunny didn't drop something. Go figure. It just takes a tiny amount, and that's actually way too much, guys. So, I did drop the lid. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Let's get some of this on. Fix the eyebrow that flipped up. Go underneath. Just in case we decide to put some shadow down there. Who knows? Y'all, I do a lot of natural, everyday looks. Um, I work a lot. I take care of a six-year-old every day. I actually have five children. So I'm a very busy person. Sometimes I will do more artistic looks. But for the majority of time, I do everyday wearable makeup. See, guys, it was way too much. Dang it. Miss Stephanie, opinionated horsewoman, is probably gasping that I use that much. She loves this eyeshadow primer and... It's no longer available. And she's the one who sent it to me. <laughs> That's uh, going to upset her when she sees how much I used. Okay, let that dry down a little bit. I did put quite a bit on this eye, unfortunately. There we go. Let us get some brushes out. Which ones will we use today? Y'all know, I use my bling brushes and my Josie & Co brushes for all of my videos. Every once in a while, I'll throw in some of the MOTDs, Moto, Moto D, whatever they're called, MOTDs. These pretty brushes. Every once in a while, I'll throw those in. But for my recording purposes, we use Josie & Co, which I have an affiliate code for, or we use our bling brushes. And because they're so pretty and they're soft and easy to work with, I love it. Let's get some more Josie and Co's out. There we go. All right. We got enough brushes out. Y'all, let's just go to it. All right. We're going to use transition all over the eyelid. Woo! Holy Hannah. I just barely dipped into that. Wowzers. But it doesn't matter how much fallout it is. It's how it applies on the eye. Which... It is showing exactly what it is in the palette. And it's buildable. That is wonderful. Okay, let's get some on the other eye. Whew, that's a lot. For my new subscribers coming in, guys, because we just got like 13 in the last two days, I am almost completely blind in my right eye. So however my left eye turns out, we match it up. Let's us see how it does. Okay, well, they look pretty darn even. See? And that is just the transition shade. So these are gonna be absolutely buildable shadows. That is wonderful. Now I do have this angular brush from Josie & Co, but it is very thin. And today, since I'm going into the darker purple, I want a more dense, thickered, angled brush. So we'll bring out the bling brush. <sighs> yeah, it's all over the palette already, guys. Okay, let's go into, oh my gosh, it's all over my table. This is the face palette I'm getting ready to use. <sighs> wow. All right, hold it back away from your workstation. Let's go into Harajuka. It's H-A-R-A-J-U-K-A. -A -A, and it come a lot. I'm a little disturbed with how much fallout there is. There's a lot. But it is staying on the brush. We'll see. All right, it's coming off quite well. Okay, Nikita. I'll see ya. We got ya. And uh, it's falling out on my face. 
We'll get a different brush to blend that in. We're gonna go right back in with the brush that we used as the transition shade, the color transition, and go right above that and blend that out. Okay, here it is. Let's get our other eye done. See how much we got to adjust. I always go right underneath my socket bone and a little above it on all my outer shade colors. Man, it's a mess. But you guys, it's applying well. So for those that don't know, the general rule is if you get a palette that has a lot of fallout in it, it's very well pigmented. And as you guys can see, I did apply this a little bit darker than the other side. So what we're gonna do is work this brush around in a circle and try to lighten it up and match them up. See, this one still is a little bit darker. Maybe we can scoot this mirror over here and get a little bit better lighting. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this up. Okay, very powdery palette, guys. So watch out for it. Keep it away from your workstation whenever you're going in to use it. I do like it though. I do like it so far though. Okay, we're gonna go into, let me wipe this off so I can see the shade name. Rude Girl, this one here. And we're gonna go right beside where we put the Harajuka, like right here and First thing we're gonna do is try to use our brush to do it. I am gonna go ahead and spray it down because that's the normal thing that you do with shimmer shades. This is my Manicadar Rose Setting Spray. It's very lightly scented, very lightly scented. All right, let's get into Rude Girl. Oh, I love the smell of that so much. Came right up on the brush again. And let's just switch it right beside there. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty. Let's get a little bit more. These shades are absolutely blendable, you are buildable. <laughs> they are very buildable, actually. All right, let's get the other eye done. Now it's not wanting to come off on this eye as well as it did the other one. You know, we need to wet it a little bit more. Yep, let's get it a little bit wet again. I don't really want to use my finger for this one because of how I'm applying it on the eye. Ooh, it's made a whole mess. That's all right, we can clean it up. Yep, that worked. Now we gotta go a little bit higher on this one. Ooh, we're making a whole mess all over our face here. But you know what, it's okay. Why is it okay? Because it can be cleaned up. Now we're going to go into Popstar the beautiful light lavender shimmer. And we're gonna use the Midnight Collection from Bling Brushes. Let's go ahead and wet it because it has this smaller brush that will help me get in my inner corner. So I do not wanna use my fingers on this. I really don't, you guys. I have really long fingernails and I jab myself. Gosh, I hate that. Other than that, if this don't work well, we can always use one of those old style uh, they look like Q-tips, but they're actually eyeshadow applicators. Okay. Yeah, this worked really well. Okay. It's a very, very light shade, and I'm taking it all the way to my inner corner. Like wrapping it around right there. Let's go ahead and get on the other eye. 
doing this all by feel, guys, so I gotta always keep checking. <laughs> Get it wrapped around like we did the other one. And adjust. All right, now, you guys see where I put that mat? Look, it fell off right there. Let's go back in. I wonder if somehow maybe I blended too much and blended it right out. I don't know, but we'll just reapply. Did not stay on there. Huh. That's okay. Same over here. It's gone. That's okay, because we'll just spray some setting spray on it. And she'll stay. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to grab some eyeliner, put some mascara on, clean the space up, and come back with a final look for you guys and a final thought. All right, my loves. Here's the final look. Dragon Beauty Volume 1 palette. I did go ahead and take Harajuku, the shade right here on my lower lash line. I did go ahead and add some more to the outer corner because it felt like it just didn't stay on even with putting on the setting spray. So I did add a little bit more of it. And then I also added Pop Star to my eyebrow bone, which I really did like. So once again, final look with the Dragon Beauty Volume 1. I use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer underneath my eyelids, you know, your T-zone, lighten it up a little bit. I do love this stuff. I do have on my e.l.f. Poilus Putty Primer. I love it, you guys. Y'all know this. And then I put on my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I adore this stuff, love it. And then we got on 90210 and Gerard Cosmetics on the lips. And y'all, your girl put a gloss on, made by Nyla Beauty. It's just a beautiful clear gloss with a little bit of shimmer in it. And then I use the Hank and Henry Clout Mascara. I do love this. I love the formula. I love the wand. You have your upper eyelashes there. And then you flip her around like that. And you got your lower lash wand. Look at that. I do love it. Waterproof, long lasting, lengthens volumes. Love it, as you guys can see. That is it, guys, except I use my Cover FX. It's a full face palette, you guys. I got it off BoxyCharm also. Look at that. It's got your contour, bronzers, highlighters, lighteners, blush. I really, really like this. It's also got a finishing powder on there, which I don't use finishing powders because your girl's got crepiness and fine lines. So, got it off Boxy Pop Up, and I will put right down there, Cover FX, how much it was, guys. That is all, you guys, for the Nikita Dragon Volume 1 palette. I liked it. I liked it. I don't, I mean, purples are very, very hard to formulate. You do have to pack it on. You have to finagle it a little bit to get it to stay on. Um... The shimmers are wonderful, amazing. And once you get the hang of how much you have to pack on of the darker purple shade, the Harajuka, whatever it's called, it stays on. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I do love this palette, you guys. Now I want to go back and get volume two. Just so I'll have the whole collection. <laughs> all right, my loves, that is all for the Nikita Dragon volume one palette. Y'all know what to do. Give your girl a thumbs up or give her a thumbs down. It just lets me know which videos y'all prefer to see more. All right, my loves. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.